do you want to cook with less oil? The air fryers might be a viable option and I'm excited to try out the air fryer max from Ninja if its performance is as good as they say. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the Ninja Air Fryer Max to see if it's worth the hype. I'll show you what it can do and share my honest opinion. But before we dive in, let's open this thing up and check through the content. Here we have the Ninja Air Fryer Max as well as the quick start guide and a warranty card. It would be a good idea to inspect the unit before use to see if there's any damage and finally be sure to remove all the protective stickers and tapes before using the air fryer for the first time. And that's it for the unboxing, let's check the design of the unit. This is a small compact air fryer perfect for small kitchens. It's got a ceramic coated interior in the removable basket which makes it easy to clean and prevents food from sticking to the basket. This particular coating is safer and more durable alternative to Teflon. As you all know, the Teflon can be harmful if it's heated to high temperatures and releases fumes, so it's best to avoid air fryers with the Teflon coatings when possible. The outer housing of the appliance is made of high-density polyethylene and the control panel is made of ABS material and the basket is made of ceramic coated aluminium. The digital display is well organized and it's easy to read. It makes it easy to set the timer and the temperature, ensuring that your food is cooked perfectly. All the buttons on the Ninja control panel are tactile and I haven't had a single issue with the device or button presses that weren't registering. Before using the Ninja for the first time, I recommend washing the basket and the grill. Then set the air fryer to a short program and run it empty for a few minutes. This will remove any factory smells and ensure that the air fryer is perfectly clean and ready to use. If you're new to the air fryers, it might take a little bit of trial and error to get the hang of it, but once you do, you'll be hooked. I mastered cooking in this thing in less than a week. And here are a few tips. Make sure to keep the sides of the basket somewhat clear to get the true air fryer crispness. The device controls the temperature inside by releasing excess heat to the room through the upper part. It will expel excess hot air to keep the temperature inside accurate. So make sure the back of the unit isn't covered and have enough space. The Ninja will automatically pause when you remove the basket to shake, so you don't have to manually press stop. This is great when you want to turn the food to get it cooked evenly. The basket is deep rather than wide, so the coil at the top side is nowhere near as dirty as all the air fryers since the oil or juice popping up during cooking doesn't always reach the coils. We've cooked all sorts of foods in this little ninja, meat, chips, fish and vegetables. It's definitely replaced the microwave and it's a lot healthier than the microwave. I would recommend reheating your food in this rather than in the microwave so it will come healthier and crispier. A single basket ninja can still be a great option for cooking a complete meal for two, but you'll need to cook the food in two phases. Just make sure to cook the food that takes longer to cook first, such as meat, chicken or fish. Then you can cook the veggies like sweet potatoes and prepare all the side dishes while the meat is resting. Voila! If you have a bigger family, a two basket ninja is a great option because it allows you to cook two meals at the same time. This is more convenient for families because you can cook everyone's food at the same time and avoid having to cook multiple batches. So the Ninja Air Fryer Max is a pretty solid air fryer for the small household or for people who only need to cook small meals or snacks. It has a small capacity of 5.2 liters, which is around 5.5 quarts, so you're not going to be able to cook big meals in it. But if you're just cooking for yourself or a small group, it's perfect. My wife also cooked a whole 2 kilograms chicken in it, and it came out great. However, a meat thermometer would be useful to cook the bigger chunks of meat, just to ensure the food is cooked evenly. But if you're just cooking simple stuff like fries or chicken nuggets, it's not a big deal. It's also a little bit noisy when it's in use, so if you're sensitive to noise, you might want to consider a different model. But overall, it's a great air fryer for small household or people who only need to cook small meals or snacks. 
It has six cooking functions. Max crisp, air fry, roast, bake, reheat and dehydrate. So you can cook a pretty wide variety of foods in it. All the food we have cooked in has come out amazing. It would be a great addition to the kitchen for singles or couples, but for families I would certainly recommend the dual basket model. Overall, I'm very happy with this little ninja. It saved us a lot of time because it cooks faster and there's no need to preheat. The cleanup of the non-stick basket is also way easier than cleaning the traditional oven. Needless to say, it saves the energy compared to the traditional oven, so it's a no-brainer. If you're interested in checking out the Ninja Air Fryer, you can find the link to Amazon in the video description, or you could just scan the QR code that pops up on the screen right now. If you're looking for a larger air fryer with more features, you might want to check out the Dual Zone Ninja Foodie or medium sized Kazori air fryer. We have reviews of both of those air fryers on the channel, so you can check them out in the video description. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to Family Pop TV so you won't miss when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching.